everyone. Today is May 27th and I'm back at Disney Springs for the sort of second phase of their reopening. Last week Disney Springs reopened and it was only third party shops and restaurants that reopened. I had a wonderful lunch at SDK. I had a great time at the reopening. We checked out the procedures that were in place. Today, May 27th, sort of the second phase of reopenings is happening with some Disney owned shops. World of Disney, the Disney Co-op, also Lego Store, and some other businesses reopening today. Oh, I also have the AC blasting because this is my strategy for like wearing a mask in the Florida heat is sit in your car, blast the AC for a few minutes before you go in, and then put on your mask and go in. So that's what we'll do. Let's go. We're gonna make our way straight over to the World of Disney area and just see what's going on. I don't even know if we can get in today, but we'll try. Oh, that's cool. They have like the bar set up in the middle with signature cocktails, beer, soda, water, all of that. That's great. A lot of stores are still closed. Some are open. They'll be listed on the website. Looks like Vera Bradley's open. That's cool. Oh, and Vera Bradley has masks with their iconic design. Those are super cute. I might come back for that. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're uh, so it just started uh, pouring like crazy. Everyone's huddled under a surface. So for everyone wondering, what's it like wearing masks in the rain? As long as you're undercover, it's okay. I don't know what would happen if I was out there and my mask got drenched. That's a, a fair, fair thing to wonder about in Florida. Okay. The rain has stopped. Let's see if we can get in. I, I, I don't know. It's Castle Hat Guy. Hey. I've been admiring your hat in like photos <laughs> on social media. Appropriate name. Yep. Hi, Walt. <laughs> and I'm super enthused about Walt's oh, Castle Hat. <laughs> okay, I got it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. Check out mine too. It's okay. uh, Walt's Posts. Walt's Posts on Instagram yep. or on YouTube Facebook or right now, okay. YouTube is coming. Okay. Good deal. I am officially in line to get into World of Disney. Let's see what happens. I don't know how long the line is. I don't know what my odds are. I don't know what the wait is like. I don't know anything. All I know is I'm in line. I'm standing on my please stand here marker and I'm excited to get into World of Disney and buy some new sweet shirts. Okay, the line was to put my name and phone number down on a list, a virtual queue to get called back to go into World of Disney when they can allow guests back in, which they just informed me was about six hours. So they said it's about a six hour wait, it could be less. I went ahead and put my name and phone number on the list in case it's less than six hours. I don't know if I'm gonna stay here for six hours, but if it's less, we could luck out, you know? Hopefully, we will get called earlier. And until then, we'll walk around spring, enjoy it, and just try to, you know, just make the best of the day and check things out. Maybe even we'll do a little window shopping and, like, look in the windows. It's also raining and, and foggy, so. Woo! I can't even tell if Stitch is spitting right now because it's raining and gray and dark and wet. Oh, yeah, he's spitting. But it's raining, so it's just kind of getting blended in with the rain. The good old Stitch, irreverent as ever. I just went ahead and put my name down at the co-op. Also, they said it could be about a four hour wait, so we'll see. It's good to know they're doing the virtual queue because that way you can put your name and number down and then go shop, walk around, have lunch, chill, do other things, and come back when you're called. So you don't have to spend your day in a line. Oh, I think Basin's open. I think it's open. It is open. Oh, it smells amazing in here. Hello. If you want to wash your hands, you come into Basin, you get some of their delicious, yummy, hand washing goodness, and uh, you can get a nice hand wash in here. It smells incredible. And today they've got an almond chia scrub you can use, and then another sort of rainbowy looking scrub and a bar of soap with flowers in it. Kind of like iridescent that is. Oh, that must be this, the unicorn sugar souffle. It's, let's use that too. So you get a stick, like a little popsicle stick, right? Do a little scoop of some of the unicorn stuff and then get some unicorn hands going. It's 
toss that. And just get a little, there's a unicorn one and there's a mermaid one. I don't know which one I'm trying. It smells really good though. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's really foamy too. It's really frothy. I didn't expect that. Nice. Oh, that feels very moisturizing and nice. I like that a lot. Ooh, we've got Mickey soaps. Those are so cute. And they have a make your own candle station. That's really cool. I think I'm gonna get some bath bomb marbles. So you can get six marbles in a tube for $6.99. And they have all sorts of different scents. And I've been wanting to take a nice, soothing, relaxing bath. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a tube and uh, fill it up. All right, I went ahead and got six of them. I'm ready to have six lovely baths. This store smells so incredibly good. It reminds me of the Grand Floridian. And now I've got some to take home with me. Yay! All right, guys, uh, we're going in. We are going in. We are in. Oh my goodness. We're here with Living in Dis fam. And uh, you guys are going to check it out. They're live streaming. I'm going to be vlogging. So, you know, double the fun. <laughs> great. This is the iconic main merchandising display that you always see when you walk in. It brings so much joy to my heart. Usually they have like um, projections on the wall with the holiday season. There's none right now, but you know what? I'll take it. Look, they've even got summer balloon ears. That is so cute. They do have the projections on the floor though. That is so cool. Look at all the sparkles. I love it. And they've got signs up here that ask you to maintain physical distancing and also ask you to limit handling of the product. So basically, don't be touching everything right now at this time. Just kind of keep that to a minimum and ask a cast member if you need help. They're documenting the opening of the store. That's so cool. Oh, they've got those sparkly unicorn ears. And pretty much the wallow ears we're familiar with, with some special ones for 4th of July and summer fun. I really like this hat. You might see me wearing this in a future video. They've got the uh, $20 each when you buy two adult t-shirts. I've gotten this deal before many times for many, many t-shirts. And they have a hat that matches a shirt that I have. I love that. Sometimes you guys ask where I get some of my cool Disney shirts. And I will tell you right now, a lot of them I get from right here. You'll probably recognize that one that I wore in a Skyliner video. That one I have. I have almost all of these. I have that one. And I wore this one, the opening day of Disney Springs, or the reopening day. I have a ton of these and I love getting more of them. I just, this is like, the, this is the jam for getting shirts. This is like the good, the good good. The good good stuff. I know a lot of people like the character warehouse, but I never find my sizes there and they always have my sizes here. So this is my jam. I want this shirt so much. What a cool design and they only have 2XL right now. They don't have any like smalls or mediums. I already have that shirt and I love it. Oh, I guess I'll have to wait till my next visit and hope that they restock. A lot of times they'll have a design here and then like you'll never see it again, but then other times they'll restock it for a long, long time. So you just don't know. I also really love this design. I just like love the retro designs. It's not a color I normally wear, but um, I'm debating that one. I really, really like that one. It's another one that there's only XL and 2XL, but I, I love that design. Okay, this shirt is amazing. I've been looking for a DJ Rex shirt everywhere. I saw a few in the Droid Depot, but this is the one. We're definitely getting one. You think Sam would wear these hats with me? I think he would. Ah, oh my goodness, so many cute lounge fly bags. I'm not one to like collect bags. I usually, I have like one tiny like military green bag that I carry, but this Mickey print and this Haunted Mansion print, like I want them. Oh, we've of course got all the sweet Star Wars stuff. It's got its own whole giant, actually two different sections of Star Wars stuff. I kind of love these leggings. Maybe, maybe next time, but they have like a 
Star Wars tiki shirt. Okay, that's super cool. I want everything. They've got a whole big section of wishables of all different types. They've got like the snack ones here. We've got some, some ghosts it looks like, some happy haunts here. I think they want to follow you home. Just to give you an idea of like, they're only letting in, you know, very limited people. I can walk around and have a lot of space in here. There are, you know, a good amount of people, but it's not crammed in like it usually is, which is nice. Check these out. I really like these coral ears. They're like a bold coral color, but still just like pastel enough to be summery. Really pretty. But we all know, mini rules all. And spotted this people mover hat on like a stand next to the mannequin. It's not even on the mannequin. It's on its own stand. That's how amazing it is. But I can't find it anywhere in the store. But how cool is that? It's so cool the mannequin's like, it deserves its own stand. I'm not even gonna wear it. But I can't find it anywhere. I keep finding cool hats. Each one cooler than the last. Look at this Mr. Toad hat. I wouldn't trust him with my auto repair, that's for sure. Oh, I really like these and I actually haven't seen them before. They're like mini bags. And I don't mean mini mouse. I mean mini as in like small versions of the bags with ears and bows on them. So this is like a rose gold, like tiny little bag. And then here's one with like a mini print and a silver bow and little ears on it. And then kind of like a deep red one. I would touch them, but you know, I don't, I don't want to touch stuff today, but like they're really, really cute and really cool. They're $40, not gonna get one today, but maybe in the future. I'm always pulled towards the retro designs. That is so, so cute. The two things I think I buy the most from Disney are t-shirts and mugs. And when I look for mugs, I nowadays look for giant mugs. I don't go for small ones anymore, even if they have a really, really cute design that I like. Because I just know that the large ones are the ones I drink out of. I like a giant cup of coffee, a giant cup of tea, not a tiny one. So if I'm gonna get a mug today, it'd probably be this one, which I love. It's really cute. It's classic Mickey and it's giant. But I already have a little bit of a haul of stuff. So I don't know, I'll think about it. I've been sort of going back and forth between the cloth mask and the paper mask to try and see like what feels better and what works better. I like the cloth masks because they're reusable, they're more friendly to the environment, I can wash them. They last a long time and they're very like thick and I feel like they're very safe. The paper masks, I don't like that they're wasteful. You know, they go into the garbage and they feel very thin, but on days and times when my allergies are acting up really badly, the paper masks do help a lot. So just know if you have like allergies or anything that like makes wearing a mask feel really restrictive or tough, if you're having a tough time, maybe bring a few paper masks with you to alternate between just to have as a backup because it does help. When your allergies are acting up really bad, it, it does help a little. I think we're about done at World of Disney for the day. There's all sorts of little treats on the way out, stuffed animals, but I think, oh, Coco, I think we're good though. Okay, fine, one treat. We'll get some dark chocolate covered Mickey pretzels because they got me. I had to do it. Line's moving really quickly. They've got uh, plexiglass up in front of the registers. We did it, shopping complete, successful. Everyone did a great job. Thank you to all the cast members. I know this is very different for everyone, but you all did a wonderful job. The store was organized and I'm happy with my purchases today, yay. And just got like a little bit of Disney magic today. And now that I've done a little bit of shopping and come out, it's no longer raining. It's a little bit less gray, so we can see Stitch a little better. He's so cute up there, just watching over Disney Springs. I think he's happy we're back. He wants people to play with. He is just spitting and spitting right now. You can see the, the droplets on the floor here. Did you hear that? You can't really see it because of how gray the sky is right now, but you can hear it like splattering on the floor. Oh, balloons, fun. Speaking 
Speaking of to infinity and beyond, there was supposed to be a launch today and I was ready to try to watch it from here. Like obviously all I would see is like a smoke trail and maybe a little bit of spark, but it was scrubbed today as I kind of figured it would be because of the weather. Launches are often scrubbed, so it's not a huge surprise. I've been watching the weather and I had a feeling it would happen, so I wasn't too shocked and the areas around Kennedy Space Center asked visitors not to, you know, drive there and crowd up the area. So I respected that and stayed away and came here instead. But I wanted to try to watch it from Orlando. But maybe I'll be able to find a good, like, socially distant spot to watch it from. I think it's now rescheduled for this weekend, but I'll check again when I get home today. Cool. I sense the presence of the First Order here. They must have known I was here and ran. That's right. That's right. Get out of here. They knew. They knew a Jedi was coming, so they they hightailed it out of here. They sensed the force. Good. And don't come back. But please come back. I wanted to see stormtroopers. I guess they didn't like the rain. Here comes the rain again. Yep, <laughs> it's raining again. Not too bad though. And it kind of comes and goes, so you can just kind of hover under something, wait a little bit, and it'll start raining even harder than ever, and then eventually stop. It's raining harder and harder. So you know earlier when I said I'd be back, they sold out of the cute masks. They said they'd be getting more, so I put my name on a list to get a call back, but just know they're a hot commodity, and they're only $8, someone told me, so that's pretty good. Well, I just got completely and utterly soaked out there. I'm in the car with the AC pumping, but this time it's to try to dry off a little bit rather than cool off like earlier. I didn't actually expect to get into World of Disney today or even Disney Springs after they were at capacity this morning and I left. So I made a whole other vlog eating at my favorite pizza spot in Orlando with Nate, my friend, so you'll see that video after this, so it might be a little out of order, but this will come out first because it's a more timely topic, the grand reopening of World of Disney here at Disney Springs. They did a really good job. Everything was organized and clean. There were long waits, but with the virtual queue, I think that gives guests a lot of options because you can decide to drop off the queue. Just let them know that, you know what, I don't wanna wait the hours. I'm gonna go, they'll take you off, and then the next person has a chance to go in or you can, you know, eat somewhere, relax, shop, do other things, and then come back when you get the text. It wasn't actually as long of a wait as they told me it was gonna be, so, you know, there's always a chance that they could say it's four hours and it's only two or three. They could say it's six and it's only three. You don't, you just don't know, but it could be the full six or four, so, you know. For now, you're playing by ear, but I feel like, you know, it's not gonna be like this forever. In the coming weeks, it'll get more and more normal, and you'll be able to just go to World of Disney like you were able to before. Well, maybe in the coming months. It may be like this for a little bit longer. Hard to say, but I do recommend that if you wanna come out and shop at World of Disney or the co-op, which I didn't even get in the co-op today, and I still haven't gotten the text, and it's time to go, because I've been here for a few hours, that you get here early in the morning and get on the virtual queue, maybe make some lunch reservations, Boathouse, SDK, or one of the other many restaurants that are open right now, and more will continue to open with time, and like have lunch and chill, and then see if you get a text later. I think that's probably the best way to do it if you really want to go shopping in the stores right now. It's always fun being on Disney property, just like hearing Disney music, and just getting that like, little sense, that little taste of the magic. And now we have more dates for basically all of the Orlando area and Central Florida area. Theme parks reopening. We have Legoland on June 1st, Universal on June 5th, SeaWorld on June 11th, Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom on July 11th, and Epcot and Hollywood Studios on July 15th. And I'm sure we'll get more information about the resorts opening and like how the opening is going to work. Is it going to be reservations? Is it going to be whatnot? I've seen little trickles of it, but since I've been out all day, I haven't been able to follow it as closely. So make sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram if you have those as well, because I'll post more updates there as I get more official info. 
So I've had a fun day. I've spent some money. I've got some new shirts. I got Sam a present. Shh, don't tell him. And did I mention I got drenched in the rain? Yeah, I got drenched in the rain. So I think it's time to go home and take a shower and enjoy my new purchases. Maybe I'll use one of the bath bombs I got. Ooh, fancy, fancy bath time. So thank you guys again so much for joining me. I look forward to continuing to cover the reopenings of the theme parks and attractions and also showing you guys cool off the beaten path stuff, nature trails, parks, everything like good places to eat, everything that I find cool and fun in the Florida, everywhere in Florida, but especially here in Central Florida area. And hopefully you guys find those things cool and fun too. And also on travels, I go all sorts of places. Go to Europe, go to all over the USA. I'm gonna do more like roadside stuff and theme parks all over, just ah, everything. But it's all kind of on hold for now. So for now, we'll be covering Central Florida and I look forward to bringing you guys along for the adventure and all the interesting times that we are in. So make sure you're subscribed. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Thank you so much. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Love hearing from you guys and I appreciate each and every one of you who watches, gives the videos thumbs up and leaves lovely comments. I'll see you guys for the next adventure and as always, stay dry and stay enthused. Bye.